Hey everyone, I'm Nikhil. Hey, welcome Nikhil Tech. Now in this video, I'm going to show you how to flash your UU Euphoria with most latest Cyanogen update, that is 12.1. To flash your Euphoria, you need all these files. To download these files, here we have the URLs. I'll keep these links in the description. Now let's download the PDNA drivers. Copy this. Open a browser. Paste it. And click enter and click on this to download as you can see if you click on save button it will be saved I already downloaded all these files now I'm just showing how to download this let's go to next one that is KDP setup and copy it paste it hit enter And click on download here. Now it will take some time to download. Click on the save button. Save. And let's move to the next one. That is Qualcomm drivers. Copy. Paste it. As you can see, you have to start download. And now download these flash tools. Copy this here all. Paste it here. As you can see, you'll also get downloaded. And this is the only software that is very big in size. That is about 1 GB. Is the Cyanogen Motor 12.1 software. Let's go to this here now. And click on this fast boot packages. See this euphoria. And click on this. And as you can see, install down there. Now I'll just quickly show you how to install all these files. Click on this and click on run. Click yes. And now enter the letter Y and hit enter. In last two three times, just Click the Y letter and hit enter. That's the way you want to do. I already installed it, so I'm not going to install now. Let's open this PDNet. Click run. Click S. And click next. And accept. Next. Next. You want to click next. Don't click cancel. It'll ask something to install. Just click install it. Don't click cancel. After installing this successfully, you can uninstall this because you don't need this file anymore. Now extract this factory image tool. Click on extract here. Go to this. You'll see all these files. Now just copy this CM12.1 file. Okay, cut it. And paste it over here. I'll be pasted as you can see. Now click on it and click extract here. Now it'll take some time to extract all these files into this. I'll skip this extraction process. After extracting is done, let's move to this before your drivers. Extract here. After extracting, you want to go to this other to file and double click on this and click yes. I already installed it, so it'll not get installed into my computer. But uh, just click next, next and install for this file. So that's what you want to do. And after extracting these all things, let's again move to this factory image file. And let's cut this file and paste it over here. After installing these before your drivers, now you should move to this factory image again. Now here you can see the flash off, double click on it and click run. Now here you can see it's saying waiting for device. Now it'll show how to keep your phone in fast boot mode. You need to switch off your phone, power off. You need a good company USB cable. 
To keep your device in fast boot mode, press the volume up button and insert your USB cable. And as you can see, now your phone is in fast boot mode. And if you install everything correctly, it will start the flashing process. If it doesn't work for you means, go to the drivers and install all of them one second. And in the process, if it asks to click volume up button and all the stuff, just click and it won't harm your phone. This is how the flashing works. As you can see, now my phone is flashed successfully. Let's go to about phone. And here you can see 12.1 Vivo G4 PAS 8A8. This runs on Android version 5.1.1 that is Lollipop. After flashing, my phone is working faster than before. That's for now guys, I'll see you in my next video. Subscribe to Nickel Tech to watch more videos like this. If you like this video, click the like button. If you have any suggestions on my videos, means do post it in comments. Thanks for watching guys. Have a nice day.